This conference was about promoting tourism in a nearly bankrupt country. But instead, Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Mikati had to address a crisis threatening his two months old government. Saudi Arabia and some Arab Gulf countries have severed ties with Lebanon for what they see as an increasing dominance of the Hezbollah armed group. We are determined to restore ties with Saudi Arabia and Gulf states. I'm repeating my calls for the information minister to listen to his conscience and put circumstances into consideration and take the stance he should take. This is the priority of the solution to get out of the crisis. The latest dispute was triggered by the comments of Information Minister George Kurdahi, who called the Yemen war a Saudi aggression. It's a difficult balancing act for a prime minister who wants to restore ties with the country's traditional economic and political partners, but whose cabinet is controlled by Hezbollah and its allies. They have publicly backed the minister, who has reiterated his refusal to resign. He also need to uh, gain a consensus uh, and agreement of Hezbollah and Amal movement, the two Shiite political parties, as well as the Merida party, the party of the minister Kardahi, as not to resign as well if uh, Kardahi resign. The diplomatic dispute is aggravating divisions in Lebanon, which is among the battlefields where Iran and Saudi Arabia's geopolitical tug of war is played out. The Lebanese government must offer a clear and frank apology to Saudi Arabia and the Gulf states and starts a real dialogue to address controversial issues. That includes ending Hezbollah's military intervention in Yemen. Saudi Arabia has long accused Hezbollah of helping the Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen, a charge the group denies. Saudi Arabia is pressuring Lebanon to take a harsher line on Hezbollah. But the Lebanese foreign minister has said the kingdom is forcing impossible terms on the government. Hezbollah, he says, is a component of Lebanese politics, and its armed wing has a regional dimension which can't be resolved by the authorities here. Already, cabinet has been deadlocked for weeks after a dispute about the judge investigating last year's blast at Beirut port. And now, Without support from Gulf nations, it will be hard to secure much-needed international aid to stop its economic collapse. Zana Khudr, Al Jazeera, Beirut.